everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy Reed, and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. In today's video, I'm working on a hexagon canvas, and uh, I've got my spinner, um, and then, as you can see, I've got some of my swipe tools, so I am doing a spin and swipe. Uh, the colors that I'm using today, my base color is this um, just amazing, <laughs> gorgeous orange. And I don't use orange a lot, uh, so I mixed a couple together. I've got Folk Art, uh, what's this one called? Vivid Orange. And then I mixed a little bit of the Pebeo um, Orange, uh, Iridescent Orange Yellow. So that is, it's just beautiful and shimmery. And then the yellow that I've got here is from Folk Art and it's Color Shift Yellow Flash. And let's see, I also have, uh, this one is Liquitex Basics, uh, Quinacridone Magenta, and I mixed a little bit of Soho Rose Matter, I don't have the bottle here, but um, it, it darkened it up just a little bit, so it's really, really pretty. Uh, and this color here is an Interference Green, and it is from Deco Art. it's Deco Art Enchanted Shimmer. And then I will be using a cell activator. I've got that in my bottle as well. And that is uh, from Amsterdam. It's titanium white. And the way that I mix that is uh, one teaspoon of the Amsterdam titanium white with three tablespoons of the Australian Floetrol. If you don't have Australian Floetrol, you can substitute American Floetrol, but you have to add a little bit of water. Um, and then also add some Minwax, well, you can use Minwax. I have a uh, Varathane pre-stain wood conditioner. Uh, Minwax works just the same. And you can put in about eight-ish drops. Um, you have to kind of work, find out what works for you, but usually around eight for that recipe works really good for me. All right, so I'm going to get my gloves on here, and I'm going to coat my canvas and then we can get started. I had to give it a little stir before I started, so, well, not right before, a little bit ago. So I'm just gonna pop some few little air bubbles. Um, and for those of you that are wondering, um, I, to keep my canvas from sliding off, I use these round silicone mats. Uh, they come in all different colors and um, they work really, really good. Now you can't like whip it, um, but I've spun this thing pretty good uh, and it, they haven't come off. So uh, that's what I use and it works really good for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting uh, the paint on and I think I'm gonna start with Oh, let's see. I think I'm going to start with the magenta first. All right, and here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and take cell activator and just put it right on the tool like that. Maybe a little more there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and spin. And when you do the spin and swipe, you want to spin it and then swipe the opposite way. It's a little tricky and it takes a little coordination, which I don't have a lot of. So I get a little nervous before I do this. Um, so Sometimes I um, kind of stall <laughs> before I do it because I'm nervous about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to turn, go, i got to practice one. No, i got to go, I spin it this way and then go that way. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Okay. Okay. That looks really pretty. Now I think I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on my small one and then go right through this area here. 
Well, actually, I'm not going to spin it. I'm just going to turn it myself here. And then kind of create. There we go. All right, now is the fun, messy part is the spinning. All right, so here we go. And my dogs always get covered. Um, <laughs> all of them have some color of paint on them right now. Hazel is covered in white uh, Deco Art Enchanted Shimmer. Um, and I think Maximus has blue. And, uh, you know, it, it happens. They kind of get underneath my feet, especially today. There's a storm. So Hazel is literally under my feet right now. Right, I don't really like this part, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go through that part real quick. I'm going to give it another spin. Oh, wow, that was a good one. It is everywhere. <laughs> All right, I love this. This. I'm really curious to see how this is going to dry. The um, Enchanted Green, I don't know if I put enough in there. I think I did, but it really looks super cool. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but at an angle, that yellow flash kind of mixed with that looks awesome. All right, so I'm going to go over it really quick, and just in case there's any little air bubbles, I am loving how this is looking so far. Uh, so, I'll be back when this is dry. Alright everybody, here we go with the dried photos and I have to say that I absolutely love this. I am not normally a fan of orange, but wow, this dried amazing. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous. These colors blended so beautifully. I am really, really having so much fun doing this technique, the spin and swipe. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and also share this with someone that you think may enjoy it. And also go check out my group, Acrylic Pouring with Friends on Facebook as well. And if you're interested in any acrylic pouring tools, don't forget to check out acrylicpouringtools.com. All right, everybody, I do hope you enjoyed my video today. I've got a bunch more that I know you will enjoy as well, and I will catch you in the next one.